So if we look at um, this diagram here, I, I talked about the fact that uh, gene was actually um, converted to the messenger RNA. Um, chromosomes are, are the packaged DNA, and the DNA has many, many genes, and those genes are for specific processes. The a uh, cell doesn't express all those genes. It doesn't translate all the, of all of those genes into messenger RNA all at the same time. So there have to be uh, ways for the cell to control what actually gets expressed. So often you might have, so in this particular case, the gene is listed here with a better drawing of the DNA. There's often a region of the gene that promotes its expression, if it's something that needs to be expressed a lot. And what that promoter does is it binds to the enzyme that, that translates the DNA into RNA um, very strongly. And sometimes there are enhancers that are binding to other parts of the DNA and activator proteins, and those can be a long ways away in the DNA, sort of loop the whole thing over. Um, and so for a gene to be expressed, it requires the interaction of all these different molecules that are responding to the environment of the cell. And so, for example, um, one of these activator proteins might be um, triggered by the um, translation of one gene, uh, excuse me, the transcription of one gene that then gets translated into that protein. And if that happens a lot, you can get more of these activator proteins, which will then maybe promote the, form, the um, uh, transcription of another gene. So um, there can be a lot of, for example, uh, reinforcing feedbacks. These reinforcing feedbacks can lead to very specific genes um, getting expressed um, or getting uh, transcribed. There are also some ways to uh, dampen uh, feedbacks in gene expression. And one way to do that is to, to methylate uh, the genes. Um, so basically, the, the methyl is a carbon and hydrogen group, and, and it'll bind to the gene, and it can actually then um, attract other molecules, and then these can actually um, uh, dampen expression. in a dampening uh, feedback. And so a, a large part of what gets expressed in genes is controlled by the presence of these enzymes, the activator proteins, uh, these methyl groups. And all of these um, extra factors are called epigenetics. And they're the type of things that control which genes um, actually get uh, transcribed to produce the messenger RNA, which is then turned into uh, the enzymes.